Hi, my name is Clifton Craze. I'm um, in the history department, and I'm really excited about teaching a uh, main master course uh, on writing memory. And it's an unusual course um, in that I'm trained as a historian, but I'm also really interested in the neurophysiology of memory. And what we're going to be doing in the course is reading a good bit of neuroscience. Don't worry, it's not going to be too technical at all. Um, so it's all, uh, the science part is, is, should all be easy to understand um, by all of you who are not planning on being doctors or neuroscientists or psychiatrists or anything like that. Um, but there's been such a revolution in the study of the nature of memory, um, how we remember, how the brain, as it were, makes memory and stores memory, and the forms of memory. Um, and memory, of course, is at the very center of other disciplines, particularly history. Um, in fact, um, many people think of the archive, the, the place where historians go and do their research, as in some place a kind of storehouse of memory, although not in the sense of our personal memories. So what this course is going to do is it's kind of, kind of mix up things a little bit. So whereas in, in say, neuroscience, you would only learn about how um, particularly the limbic system works, the hippocampus and amygdala, and how that creates or is tied up with the biological processes of memory. You go to literature courses, you'll um, read uh, books that kind of deal with the nature, the en enigmatic nature of memory. His historians just sort of kind of take memory um, for granted. And what we're going to do in this course is kind of put or create a kind of dialogue between some of this incredible work that's coming out in the sciences and neuro, and neuroscience and put it in dialogue with literature and history. Uh, we're also going to look at some films because a lot of really fantastic films have dealt with the nature of memory and memory's uh, loss, the loss of memory or forms of amnesia. So we're going to read a series of, of works, and then what we're going to do a lot of is we're going to uh, write uh, and do a lot of creative writing and research. And so what we're going to be doing over the course of the short term is you're, you're going to think about and write about some of your own memories. And then we're going to do research about those memories and compare the sort of history work with the memory work, all the while that we're reading this really amazing new stuff. So the reading side of it is going to be uh, neuroscience for the general reader. Again, don't worry. Um, lots of memoirs, um, some history uh, uh, work, and we'll have a very healthy sprinkling of sort of uh, some experimental uh, films uh, that deal with memory. Some of you, for example, may have seen the film Memento, um, where the guy can't remember what happened around a murder and constantly has to write on his arm in order to, to keep things in a kind of consciousness. So that's the course. It's going to be very intense. Um, we'll read Each day we'll read a little bit, we'll write a little bit, we'll watch a little bit of film. We may actually walk over to the hospital and um, do the neurology rounds if they'll let us. Um, we may speak to some scientists who are dealing with issues around memory. And uh, that's it. I hope you'll like it.